is it really possible to travel and still get some work done? The answer can be different for everyone, but I can share how that works for me. Hi, if you are new here, my name is Ivers, I am freelance and indie iOS developer based in Latvia, currently traveling in Cyprus. Let's dive in into the topic. I am starting my day at about 6-7 in the morning. That gives me about an hour and a half in the morning for work before my family wakes up. Usually we split our day in two parts, morning is exploring time and after breakfast we go on half day trip. So cool. I really really like visit all those historical sites when we are traveling around, that is the best experience. And yeah, also we love to see other cultures, how people live locally and yeah, those are two things which are the most interesting and must have in all the trips. Yeah, here we have tombs of the kings and those are about 5,000 years old. Crazy. Just crazy. Really like to visit sites like that. And how they build all that using their hands and primitive tools only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me more that your work is hard. <laughs> I don't know how this is built without any today tools, yeah. Seems that he is the boss here. Ooh, it's too hot for anyone from north. The second part of the day is on the beach or next to the pool. If we go on full day trip, the next day is usually a full day on beach, so you got the point. So what do I do for living and spending time in four areas? First one is freelance iOS development, second one is iOS development for myself and building my own applications and publishing those in the App Store. Third one is payment startup and number four is uh, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, all the social networks, you name it. families in excursions and half day trips but pool or beach time is a bit different for me. I can't say that I hate vacations but resting all day long is a bit boring and I'm adding some work time to the second part of the day. A big chunk of my work is reading and writing, I can do that on the beach or next to the pool as well. I can close few quick tasks on my to-do lists in 30 minutes and I learned that it is not necessary to have a massive chunk of the time to start working. Midday nap with iPad. One more. <laughs> Midday napping person and code review for me. If I have free time I can use that for work instead of scrolling social networks. Now we are in Starbucks. I know, I know, not the best coffee in the world, but in hotel we have even worse coffee. I can check emails while my ladies are choosing new thermo cup. Use all small time chunks that you have during the day and you will be surprised at how much you can do. Sure, you have to have clear and actionable to-do list ready for execution. Unfortunately, I can't do almost any programming job in those small time chunks during the day, so of course I need more focused deep work and I'm doing that here, usually later at night. 
Luckily for me, I need a little bit less sleeping time than the rest of my family, so I can stay up for two to three hours longer than my family and spend the time for deep programming work, if that is needed. That adds few more hours into the day for work and I'm ending with five to six hours of working time during the day. And I still have plenty of time for traveling activities, so... In my opinion, regular employee in office do not spend more than six hours for productive work and the rest of the time is chatting with colleagues, coffee and unnecessary meetings. So I would say that I am mixing full-time job hours with traveling and that works fine. Okay guys, thank you for watching. See you on next one. Bye.